Crate training the best thing you can do for your Dobie. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. Your Dobie needs a place he can call his own a place where he can retreat and not be bothered by the hustle and bustle of the household, including guests who are eager to spend time with him and children who are enamored with their new best buddy. Because of this, crate training is in your Dobie's best interest. Where to put the crate? If your Dobie seems reserved, shy or uncertain, make sure his crate is in a location that is quiet and private. If you have children, teach them that when the dog is in his crate, it is his quiet time and he is not to be disturbed. This way, the dog learns that he has a refuge when needed. Step 1. Entering the crate. 1. Toss a tasty treat into the crate and make sure your Dobie sees the treat go in. 2. Guide him into the crate using his collar, and gently crowd him from behind. 3. Once he is inside and turns around, usually after eating the treat, praise him. 4. Allow him to come out of the crate. 5. Repeat this process about 5 times. 6. That's the end of this training session. If your Dobie readily entered the crate, you can move on to the next step, staying in the crate. If he resists, repeat the crate entry training session several times a day until he becomes comfortable entering the crate. Step 2. Staying in the crate. 1. Toss a tasty treat into the crate and make sure your Dobie sees the treat go in. 2. Guide him into the crate using his collar, and gently crowd him from behind. 3. Once he is inside and turns around, usually after eating the treat, praise him. 4. Close the crate door and leave the room for a few minutes. Most dogs will generally cease their barking or whining fairly quickly once you've left the room. 5. Allow him to continue barking until he stops or gives a long pause. 6. Re-enter the room, praise him, and let him out of the crate for a bit of playtime. 7. Repeat steps 1 to 6. You're working to achieve two goals. Goal 1, teach him to associate the crate with a positive experience, a treat, praise, and an ultimate return when you let him out. Goal 2, teach him that barking or whining will not result in you coming back to let him out. Tips, some dogs take to crate training faster than others, so be patient, and above all, be consistent. Some people will place a favorite toy or chew bone into the crate before they put the dog inside. The idea is the dog will have something pleasant to do while he is in there, so he won't mind being confined. If your Dobie does not like the crate. Our foster homes work very hard to teach our dogs to crate, but your Dobie might try to convince you that he is about to roll over and die the minute you shut the door. You may get an accusing glare or a pitiful look that says, I just want to be with you every waking moment or please let me out so I can love you some more. You may get loud barks of protest or howls of discontent. If you fall for this, your Dobie, being of extraordinary intelligence, is on his way to training you, rather than you training him. So, how do you convince your Dobie that the crate is a happy place? Break crate training into the two behaviors previously discussed, entering the crate and staying in the crate, and be consistent. A word of caution. When your Dobie is in his crate, especially if he has just had an experience that upset him, it is a bad idea to go into the crate after him, no matter what your intentions. If he feels threatened, he may give you a serious bite since he'll be entering headfirst. If he snarls, growls, or acts afraid or withdrawn when you try to get him out of the crate, use a stiff nylon loop leash to place a loop over his head, allowing you to pull him out of the crate without reaching in too far. Under no circumstance should you ever put your head into the crate during this procedure. Remember, a dog who is approached while inside a crate is cornered, so if he perceives you as a threat, regardless of what you say or do, the only responses available to him are to cower in fear or to attack. What type of crate to buy? Since dogs are classified as medium-sized, an extra-large size crate will give him ample room to stand up and turn around without being cramped. Extra-large size, number 500. 40 inches long by 27 inches wide by 30 inches high. There are two generic types of crates, plastic and wire. Plastic crates have molded plastic shells that fasten together, with a wire grill door. Wire crates have wire grill sides and tops and a removable solid tray on the bottom. Wire crates allow for more ventilation, although in our experience, plastic crates allow for plenty of airflow. When used indoors for crate training, many people place a cloth cover over wire crates to make them more private and secluded for the dog, so the ventilation difference is minimal. Expect to pay between $80.00 $120.00 for a crate, 
but trust us, it will be the single best investment you make for you and your new Dobie. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.